A top Facebook executive is taking on Apple. VP Nick Clegg accused the iPhone maker of only catering to, quote, an exclusive club of wealthy customers. Tech editor Dan Howley is in the newsroom with that story this morning. Well, those them are fighting words. What's behind this, Dan? Yeah, there's no love lost between Facebook or Apple at this point. Apple CEO Tim Cook has repeatedly gone after the company. Uh, he did it most recently at the Stanford University graduation. We actually have a quote of his. Uh, he said, it feels a bit crazy that anyone should have to say this, but if you've built a chaos factory, you can't dodge responsibility for the chaos. And that's basically Cook saying that Apple, uh, Facebook and Twitter and these social media networks have built these platforms that allow people to do things like spread fake news and uh, alter the truth or use deep fake videos, uh, and they need to take responsibility for it. Now, Nick Clegg, for his part, said that uh, Apple or hardware manufacturers, he didn't necessarily say Apple, but uh, they are an exclusive club available only to the aspirant consumer with the means to buy high value hardware and services. And Nick Clegg's basic argument was, look, we offer our service for free, you're offering it for a thousand dollars for a smartphone who's the who's the real bad person here uh nick clegg didn't go into details about how facebook is going to fight back against what uh, tim cook's accusations were as far as privacy or uh, the spread of fake news he really just wanted to kind of hammer home that apple does sell uh, smartphones and devices and services for higher fees than most other companies yeah dan far be uh, for me to agree with anyone from big tech but doesn't Clegg just have a point here? Expensive phones and Apple phones in China, expensive phones in the U.S., they've tried to raise prices. Sounds like he has a good point. He does have a good point, but then that so does Tim Cook at the same time, with Facebook obviously being the, the preeminent social network in the world, uh, 2 billion monthly active users. They need to clamp down on their privacy issues. They need to clamp down on the spread of fake news, on the spread of this kind of uh, propaganda, uh, frankly, from the likes of Russia and Iran. And they haven't done a good job of it, and this is why they're getting criticized.